Greetings, Goddess Body Mind Spirit Community. This is your Goddess Guru, Omilade, here to share a word of inspiration um, for you on your path to self realization and self mastery. Um, today, I would like to share a revelation that has come to me um, that perhaps can help someone else. It has come to me for me but I share it so that others perhaps can um, succeed or use it in their lives. So I am reading this book called The Compound Effect and uh, I'm at the part, I've just read chapter one and there is a section, it was action steps that we can take and I just want to read this to you. Write out a few excuses you might be clinging to. Examples, not smart enough, no experience, wrong upbringing, don't have the education, etc. Decide to make up in hard work and personal development to outcompete anyone, including your old self. And what I started thinking about is how, first and foremost, I'm just at this point now where I... I, I'm not trying to compete against other people. What I want most is to outcompete myself. Um, because for me, my standards are what are most important. Other people's standards may not be as high as mine. Uh, and I actually have always just sort of naturally been that way. I want to be the best, but I always it's always about me making me the best and not trying to be better than other people. And that has always just landed me in a good spot of having a level of excellence that's a little bit, or to a certain degree, well above the rest of the field. Um, and so, you know, what I thought about is how what I feel is this resistance inside of me. It's almost like this thing that pushes up against me. I'll think of something that I know is good for me to, um, that will benefit my life in some kind of way. And then I feel resistance to it. And then the next thing I know, I have to conjure the energy of Ogun Herakahuti. If you don't know this energy, it is the energy of the warrior that is so fearless that it doesn't fear death. I have to conjure the energy of Ogun to actually get me to push through all of that resistance um, and, and actually, you know, achieve what I want. Well, my thing is this. I am at a point where I am tired of living like Ogun so much because what the resistance does is it slows us down and then we get to that point where it's like there's a deadline I've got to get it done or it gets so bad in our lives maybe there's no deadline that's sometimes even worse um, and, and year after year after year this thing is hanging over us that we know we need to do this change in our life is hanging over us that we know we need to take care of and it just our backs get pushed up against the wall and then we have to start, we have to conjure up Ogun. We have to conjure up all this hot, fiery energy because Ogun does help us overcome obstacles. Ogun is out of um, the tradition of the Yoruba, the Ifa tradition. Okay, I'm just saying that just in case someone needs to know that. We have to conjure up Ogun to get us to, you know, oh, oh, what I was saying is Ogun helps us to overcome obstacles. But guess what? When the obstacle is our own ego, because because that is what I identified this morning. The thing that pushes against me, what I see as resistance, is really my ego. All this time, I'm like, I don't know why I won't get up and do what I need to do. The ego will create all kinds, manifestations of ways of preventing us from expanding. And the trick is to know... How can you pull your ego along so that your ego is not leading you, but your higher self? You're operating from your higher self, your ori. That is what is leading, guiding, directing you. 
Um, another way of saying that for people who may not be, you know, a part of the Af African tradition of spirituality, um, operating according to God's plan, the power of God in your life, that is what should be leading, guiding, and directing you. Not your limited thinking, not your ego. There is the part of us that is connected to the divine. All of us is connected to the divine. The divine is everywhere. But there is that part of our consciousness that is in fact connected to the divine, that is in fact the part of us that should be running and controlling our lives. However, and it does because that's how your heart beats and your lungs and your body is just doing what it does. If that can do that, for this, this is amazing. The body is amazing. Why don't we let that part of ourselves run our lives? Misinformation. Lack of self-knowledge. So you have to be on that path of self-realization. You have to know the truth of who and what you are. You have to know all parts, all levels of yourself. And once you know that, it puts a high level of confidence in you regarding that part of you. And it will, and you will then start choosing to let the divine within you lead, guide, and direct your life. Until then, it's our ego. And our ego gets so much of our attention that when we start saying, ego, you're not in charge anymore, it will not go without a fight. Thank goodness for Ogun type energy. That is how I have succeeded in so much. Ogun powers up in me and I push myself forward. Because I so badly want to advance. I so badly want to do more, have more in my life. But I'm at a point now where, because Ogun energy is so strong, and Herakuti, we can say Herakuti, is so strong <laughs> that if you stay there too long, it will short circuit your, your system. And if, especially if, you know, for me, I'm a water energy. I'm, I'm a lot of earth too, um, but water is my way, and so that's what I'm aligning myself up with. And Ogun energy, I lived in it for too long, one year, and now my energy is short circuited. I can't live Ogun so much. I'm powering up the power of Ogun because. Oh, I got to get this done. And I'm not even talking about anything major. Like I just took a certification to become um, a group fitness, uh, not become, but took a certification, a group fitness certification. I wanted this certification uh, to uh, boost m myself professionally and to make sure I have those credentials behind my name <laughs> since I teach fitness classes. Um, and it's a new one. I've had it all along for those who are watching this and know me. I've always been a certified group fitness instructor. I have a new one. Anyway, um, I had to conjure up Ogun because my life is busy. I am not a student in general when it comes to books and stuff like that. I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a family woman. And, you know, it's like life is happening. I'm teaching these classes. Everything's so busy. I had to power up Ogun to get through all of that. <laughs> I think that's fair. But if I'm having to power up Ogun to get simple family stuff done because the resistance lays on me. If I have to power up Ogun all the time to achieve basic things in my life, goals, and it, it's it's old for me. It's old. And so what I'm saying is that we have to know that the ego finds ways to keep us right where we are. And so what we have to do is identify those ways and move forward into the resistance anyway. That's the main thing we have to do. Where you feel resistance, that's exactly where you need to go. We haven't been taught that. If we have been taught it, it sometimes takes us a little while to really get it. You will lose in life. You will stay stuck in your stumble if you don't go into the resistance. 
You let the resistance win, you stay where you are. You tell, you tell your ego, we're going into this resistance because I know it is you actually who has put up the resistance. Self-realization, know that self. I am the author, the producer, the actor in my life. I am creating all of this. So if I feel resistance in my life, guess what? I created it. And so therefore, <laughs> I need to, if this resistance is blocking me, I need to get my butt up and walk on through the resistance. And it'll feel like I'm doing this even though I don't want to. How many of us are operating from a place of lack because we're not, we know we would be better off if we would just get up and do what do we do instead? We sit back, we chill, we do anything and everything but what we know we need to do. How many of us have said that? I know what I need to do. I don't know why I'm not doing it. You're not doing it because your ego is saying, hey, let's stay like this. Okay, do you like that? One of my friends and I used to say all the time, how's it working for you? If you don't like it, if it's not working for you, then guess what? You have to accept you have set up this trap in the form of your ego. The only way to get past the trap is to stand up and just walk on into the very thing you don't want to do. You have to walk on into that thing. And so it is not all the time it is an issue of, don't get me wrong, <laughs> behavior. It is an issue of, you know, we need discipline. Sometimes, though, it really boils down to identifying that your ego has you stuck. You have you stuck. Let me say it like this. You are in your way. And so you have to do your spiritual work. Get yourself identified with the powerful side of you. I'm sorry, I don't want to be Ogun every day of the week. <laughs> so powerful is not all the time. This hot fiery energy, why do we do that to ourselves? Constantly on the go, do, 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 do. Push, 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 push. Sometimes it's, I will take one baby step at a time. Identify three baby steps that I'm taking today Take them even if you don't want to. Do not fall into doing all that other crap that you normally do. And the reason I'm saying it this way is because I'm really talking to me. <laughs> but if this applies to you, feel it. Live it. Okay? Don't do all that other stuff. Do what you know you need to do to move forward in your life. Let's stop being stuck in our stumble. Let's get disgusted with where we are. Let's open our minds up and desire more of that which we know is our destiny. The more we know the truth of who and what we are, you can't stop us from walking in our power. We can't stop ourselves from walking in our power and our greatness. And so I encourage you to... Identify these parts of yourself. Get to know your ego and how your ego affects you. And you have to make the decision. Ego, you're not in control. And that you're going to move forward. Because your happiness, your peace of mind, you know, your destiny depends on it. This is Omilade, your goddess guru. I hope that this has assisted you as I continue to grasp it for my own own self I will share it with you because I'm in the midst of really just trying to get it so anyway I wish you um, a wonderful happy peaceful successful day peace and love